Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're gonna be covering this leather jacket. That's why um, I made a video a few months ago and it did pretty well. Uh, it was my first unboxing and experience with my first ever leather jacket that I've purchased myself by All Saints. Now, since that video did still so well, I thought I would do another video. Um, just kind of showing you what this leather jacket has been like after I have worn it for many months and it's been many months after my purchase. So let's just get straight to it. I know I tend to not like a long intro. Um, it's been very, uh, it's, it's uh, bef to, to really establish my uh, thoughts on it, I need to first explain how many times I've worn it. I think I've worn it about 20, 30 times since I first bought it. Um, when I bought it in early spring, it wasn't the best time to wear it since every day was getting hotter and hotter into the summer. But now that things have cooled down a lot and we're deep into autumn, I can confidently wear this and give you my thoughts on it. So I guess the first uh, thing I want to say is um, I realize it is pretty flimsy. It's very thin, as I mentioned in the first video. And I was a little surprised by how thin it was. I mean, if you look at this, it's it's like a fraction of an inch. It's not even an inch. It's like a little bit more than a sheet of paper, like a couple sheets of paper, basically. So you could tell how thin it is. And uh, that's the first thing that I realized in terms of what I thought could be better about it. You see, it's already really cold. And once you get into late autumn and winter, this is a leather jacket that's hard to wear without it getting uh, too cold to wear. So I realized this is really only good for maybe uh, springtime and uh, maybe late spring at that and then early autumn, uh, which really kind of limits it. Uh, I prefer stuff that's kind of versatile and minimalistic and all access to all the seasons, which is why I like a t-shirt like this, just a navy blue uh, regular t-shirt. But I found, you know, if I wear this under a t-shirt, which I usually do, or, you know, I, I like to just wear t-shirts or I'll throw on a crew neck uh, sweater over my t-shirt. Um, even that's not enough. This will not prevent a significant wind chill factor or uh, any like, real winter temperatures um, and so you have to keep that in mind i have to actually swap this out for my pea coat when it gets really cold currently uh, as i'm filming this the weather keeps flip-flopping from somewhat warm to really cold so it really just depends on the day as we move into winter so that's a little bit of a gripe behind it but i can't say i completely blame all saints for that uh, and I say this because, you know, while maybe maybe that's true, I'm not an expert with this. Maybe they did intentionally cut out a lot of the volume of leather to save on costs and cheap out the consumer. I don't know if that's intentional or not. But I'm also wondering if this is just a style. You know, some people prefer very lightweight uh, bomber jacket leathers uh, like this for the lighter warmer temperature months. They don't want to be wearing a big, stuffy, uh, thick leather jacket in the spring times or early autumn, and they just want something for those seasons. So maybe that was their intentions, or maybe not. Uh, just as a reminder, this is the Kino version of the bomber jacket in black. It's my first one. Um, a lot of people said they were very happy with my fit and how it looks. If it's perfectly on my sleeves, my arms. Um, one th another thing though is it, it comes up pretty tight when I zip it up. And I usually have to now that it's getting kind of cold outside. Although sometimes I still kind of wear it out. And uh, at least for me personally, this seems pretty darn tight, you know. And I am getting a little bit of a quarantine belly, but not by much. 
And at least to me, based off my general preference, and this is just be, maybe my personal preference, this is too tight. This is like, a, you know, a little bit like a jumpsuit in a way or something where you wear, you see those like super skinny, like skin tight motorcycle bi uh, bikers where I, I, I don't think I want it that tight, but maybe it's fine to me, maybe it's not. Um, I, fi I feel a little bit out of my comfort zone where I wear when I wear it, especially when zipped up like this. Uh, I'm someone who prefers to just l feel confident with what I wear, and uh, I don't like a target on my back or everyone's eyes looking at me. And so when I have it zipped up, it's kind of like, a bit too flashy and like oh look at that guy he's trying to really stand out with his leather jacket and that's why you know i i chose this style um the color is actually not too shiny it's more of like a you know smooth but uh leathery texture that's kind of a dull black which i like i don't like something that's super like stand out like look at me because uh i don't know for me i just get the sense that oh People are going to get jealous. People are going to attack me. People are going to be like, why are you wearing that? And that's just that's just me. Some people love to stand out and they'll get all the bells and whistles on it. Um, so that's that's my uh, experience on my first leather jacket. And overall, still, I, I'm very happy with this purchase. Uh, I chose to get something that was a legit leather jacket by one of the most talked about uh, respected brands for leather jackets. And that's what I did. I didn't want to go the cheapo route of buying something under $50 or $100 that isn't even leather that will look crappy and then just uh, get destroyed in a, a year or so. So that's why I did this. Once again, I'm still kind of preferring something a little thicker. I think that would just kind of last more throughout the year because I could wear it maybe even in autumn and spring and then get away with it in the winter as well. But as i've learned that's not always the case you have to kind of pick and choose your season sometimes with certain elements even if they are essential uh fashion items now someone did ask uh he says it fits my uh arms and my the sleeve length is perfect for me and he asked me like what's your sleeve length and i, I couldn't respond to him in the comment because i didn't know but if i had to guess I, I think i did get measured for a custom dress shirt a couple years ago and i think the number was around 33 or something like that but i have pretty you know standard arms i mean if i hold them down to my sides they go down to like mid thigh so i don't think they're uh overly long like a basketball player or swimmer nor are they overly short i would peg them at somewhere around average if i had to lean on one side say slightly longer than average but not by much so there you have it. This is the Kino uh, leather jacket. And after these few months, I think I'm happy with this purchase. I probably wouldn't return it if I could. Um, I like the design overall, the, the matte thing, the matted finish. I may get rid of this zipper here. I know some people love the bells and whistles with the horns and the, you know, zippers everywhere. And, uh, you know, just based off my study of fashion and timeless fashion and the type of style that I prefer, the classic style, I realized my first leather jacket has to be something less loud. So I really like it. I think the uh, the zipper colors, especially down here and up here, after I've worn it a bit, I think it's still kind of loud, um, a bit too loud uh, now that I look at it. But, you know, there was a time before I studied fashion where I, I would have thought this not loud enough. I thought I would have wanted all the zippers and horns. So it's really not a big deal, but you know, the, the zipper has a distinct, somewhat loud silver tone to it, which, you know, not the biggest deal, but it is what it is. I usually like it unzipped here, and this is how it looks. Um, I think if I were, if I did have the opportunity to return it, which I don't think I can anyways anymore, I would exchange it for maybe exact same thing, a little bit thicker here. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any more info that can help me and the community on men's style, especially regarding this specific model and brand. Specifically, you know, is this done intentionally or is this a, you know, was this just a style for the spring months? Were they trying to cheap out the customer? 
Um, is this material good? What are your thoughts, experiences on this? Do you think I, I, I made a good purchase or not? I believe when I bought this, all they said was it was some type of sheep leather. And so, you know, for the pros out there, is that good? Maybe cow leather would have been better. Maybe it is a cheapo thing and I should have gotten a thick leather jacket and they really scammed me out of that. Uh, or maybe this is really just a lightweight jacket for spring months only. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, we're here to be helpful. So of course, keep it positive, keep it uh, constructive, and keep it uh, out of being toxic in the comments below. But hopefully this video helped.